This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Doris Ellis with me, my good friend. I haven't seen you in such a long time. We're having a bit of a reunion here. This yes. is wonderful. You are a coach with the Youth Bowling Canada from Smith Falls. Yes, I am. Let's talk a little bit about yourself, because you've been doing this for a long time. Yes, I have. I've been doing this for 29 years as a coach, and I enjoy the children of all ages from 4 to 19. And my three kids have went through the YBC program and we went to provincials with them and done well and I care for each children the same way regardless they're not my kids I still call them my family and I'm a program director now for 19 years for Bill Muse and John White and Jackie and I continue doing that. Now you've been a volunteer for 29 years. Yes, volunteer for 29 years for coaching and marking and just coming down and watching the kids at first and I got into the program with Bill and helping him out and doing a lot of fundraising along that too. I mean that's quite a commitment too and I mean when you say those children are like your own children that's a commitment. Yes no it wonder. is. Yes no it's wonder. like family to me. Absolutely. That's absolutely. why I'm in the program to get more youth out there because we care for the children regardless how they bowl because every kid has their own average and we help them to to bowl two hands then into one hand and they just continue on and they continue on to adult league after that when they're turned 20. Now I just a little sideline too because I know down in the bowling alley too I know they we use it for people with disabilities you've got the ramp too. Yes we to do. Use that, so I don't know whether you use yes, it for the children as well. Yes we do use that for anybody with the special needs we have that there and we have it there for the four-year-olds to maybe some eight-year-olds still use it depending how they're bowling but it's there. We have two ramps now. They got built for us Excellent. to use. And yeah, for there's like 16 lanes down there, isn't it? Yes, there? there's 16 lanes. And we have 9 to 16 using for peewees to bantams, and then 1 to 8 using for juniors and seniors. Excellent, excellent. And this year we have 36 um, youth children enrolled in the registration. 36? 36. Okay, now is this typically a Saturday or when is this? Saturday morning at 10 to noon and we start the Saturday after Labor Day. We run to end of April, usually 32 weeks and the kids come in about quarter to 10. We do announcements so everybody knows what's going on between the games and the tournaments coming up and, the, and expect what days we have off during holidays or that's handed out and I do a newsletter once a month for each of the parents families for them and I have a schedule for each of the kids to follow. Excellent, Excellent. and it's not too late to join. You can no. join anytime. You can join anytime. We register you and the first week John and Jackie done this it's free and because it's free John wants to know if they like bowling and if they do they come back the next week and they pay the registration to bo to pay the lineage is um, six dollars for peewees up to uh, seven years old seven to ten is is seven dollars and juniors and seniors from ten years old to nineteen is seven dollars okay okay now I got some information here too Youth Bowl uh, Canada uh, let me see here. The Youth Bowl Canada has paid at $1,584 to help 36 youth bowlers too. So there's some help for yes, some? Yes, we have a fundraising going on and it's very thankful we have the fundraiser. They help us to pay the registration for each of the kids so they don't have to pay out of their shirt, out of their pocket because they pay for their bowling shirts and I brought one with me. It's red and white. It has a uh, Grattan Lanes on the back, Smith Falls, and on the front, and each kid pays for their own, and it's forty dollars per shirt. And I ordered them through a um, uh, one of the um, trophy places in Perth. Okay. And okay. as coaches wears a coach shirt, it's black and white. Each we wear them during our play on Saturday mornings. Plus, we wear them in at tournaments. Okay. And how many coaches are there? There are, right now we have five coaches down on the lanes. We have volunteers to keep score for each of the kids because we don't have computer scoring. So each parent will show how to keep score and they are very good to come in and help us while the coaches coach on the lane. 
uh, the good old fashioned way. I remember yes. doing that, keeping the score like that. <laughs> that's too. right. So uh, yes. that's great to say. Very good. Uh, now, Youth Bowl Canada originally uh, was Youth Bowl Council. Yes. Okay. And it was organized in 1963 by Bill Muse. Yes. That's right. And in Bill Smith Muse, Falls. if anybody's a lifer here in Smith Falls, knew Bill from yes. the bowling lane too. The bowling lanes, and he still comes down and, and volunteers and helps John out during the week. I'm not sure which days now, but yeah. Excellent, excellent, yeah. excellent. Now let, you've talked about tournaments too. Whereabouts do tournaments happen? Um, Smith Falls, and we just did a new regional six this year. We used to be called Zone X, but now we're um, organized with Cornwall, Chesterville, um, Renfrew, Orleans, Ottawa, and Smith Falls, and Carlton Place. That's all in our regional six now. So, um, and we have a tournament director for YBC, Pat Hutt from Orleans. He organizes all the tournaments for us and he sends us out a schedule. So we have to meet those requirement dates for our kids to bowl and, and I give them the parents most notice. So they prepare to bowl in the next um, zone round, regional round it's called now. Yeah. Then if they make it from the regional round, they go to provincials. Then if they make it from provincials, they go to nationals, depending on what um, national um, tournament it is. Yeah, 29 years you must have been to the nationals a few times. I've only been not with YBC. Oh, okay. But we've had coaches like from our program to the nationals. But you, I've been to the yourself. provincials. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. yeah, and I was just, that was going to be my next question because this goes up to age 19. Yes. And then there's adult leagues that go yes. on down there too, which sounds I like you bowl, are part of that. Yes, I, I helped John and Jackie organize a Friday night league. And I've done that for many years after um, Jim Marshall organized it. I took over and I bowled in the, the Ottawa Valley and I've done, I've gone to national once out of the Ottawa ladies excellent. team. Excellent. It was fun. Excellent, excellent. Now, it sort of sounds like you got into bowling because yourself w was interested, but yes. then you, your children got, got interested into it. in it and you just stayed Kept, stayed on I never started till I was 16 because I lived out in the country okay so but I never did youth bowling myself so I came back and asked Bill how does my kids get into bowling he said Saturday mornings bring them down yeah so I did when um, JR was seven um, Danielle was eight and Jen was um, ten when they started. Excellent, excellent. And, and I can't remember right going down, I wasn't on a league or anything, nope. but Saturdays at the bowling lane was always the place to go. So. Yes. Excellent, yes. and it's still... Still seems. continuing, <laughs> still doing well. Now you've got an event coming on too, on uh, October 29th, you wear a costume that day? Yes, all the kids wear a costume, and the adults, the coaches and volunteers, and John and Jackie gives out a free hot dog if the kids wear, uh, wear a costume. And I usually do up goodie bags and stuff for the kids to oh, pick nice. out candy from. Nice. Yeah. And then you've talked about uh, fundraising too. You've got yes. chocolate bar bars for sale chocolate right now. Chocolate bars right now for the National Four Steps. That's to help them to, so they don't have to pay to go to provincials or nationals. The youth um, Canada does the the chocolate bars, and they're two for five right now, okay. and they're on sale at the Bowling Alley. So, and each p family takes a box to sell okay, to okay. help raise money. And it's money. so nice to hear this funding about when you go off to tournaments and everything like that because that sometimes deters people from joining. Yes. Because they, they, you know, we, we, can, we can do it here, but what happens if there's a tournament we can't afford, we can't get there, we no, can't you no. know, to a tournament. And in Ottawa Valley Zone X, Regional 6 now, they participate a little amount of money to help pay for the gas for each kid that goes on to the provincials nice. and if they go to nationals there's money there for them too through them right and you know sports is such a great way to, for kids to yes. be involved in in you know anything to get them you know that's uh, right yeah out, out of uh, the house for a house, little while a little bit. Uh, get them off ipads and, and that's uh, right. you know Have some technology phones and stuff too and it's physical activity yes it is and, and it doesn't take much effort to up and bowl we teach them and and like I said, it's for any special needs, any special kid. Like I call them all my kids, yeah. family. Yeah. Now, if people want to register, how do they do that? They come in Saturday morning. They bowl the first game to see if they like it. If they mm -hmm. come back the next week, they come and see me. 
and I register them online when I go home. Excellent, excellent. And it's paid through a fundraiser, and their it's registration. as easy as that. Yes. It's as easy as that, too. That's right. I mean, our bowling lanes, too, I mean, they've been around for and ever, my ever, you know, yes. for 60 <laughs> years. And, I mean, they have birthday parties down there. They have Yes, right now lanes. they've stopped the birthdays because okay. of COVID. Oh, right, I so, guess. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. They're stopped right now for now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, mm -hmm. it's just a wonderful way just to get out and, and yes. family time too. You That's know? right. Because nice your family can stay and watch them. Yeah. They don't have to leave that two hours. That's nice. Yeah, and That's we bowl nice. three games. Three and games in two hours. In two hours, and we alternate lanes after each game. Okay, okay. Yeah, and is so it always the same uh, children play on the same team? or Same team, okay. yeah, but they bowl a different team every week. They they go to a different lane okay. with between 9 and 16 Mike Bantams and Pee Wees. I, I do the scheduling of the okay. mm -hmm, each okay. game. And I mean, I credit you because I mean, volunteering is, is one you. thing when you go out and you volunteer, but you do a lot of things behind the scenes yes. to get yourself organized, organized for, and everything. for that day yes. too. So. 29 Thank you. years. Congratulations. Thank that, you. That's amazing. That's amazing. And mm. you had anything else you'd like to add? You've got lots of notes there. <laughs> you are <laughs> very I, organized. And I'd like to say thank you to John and Jackie and Bill and Etta for continuing on the youth bowling in Smith Falls. It takes a lot of them to keep the lanes up to date and oiled and always doing something to the pins and there for the kids. There's, there's got to be a lot of maintenance going on. Yes. You know, behind the where the the, the pins, pins come down and action, everything like that. Yep. Even the shoes and everything oh, yes. like that. Yep. And maintenance. The place is always so nice and clean. Yes. Yeah. They yep. keep it organized. And we have a wall. If you come into the bowling alley to the left behind lanes one and two, we have a uh, youth bowling wall there to each of the say for the kids what to do or see how they're doing and. Excellent. If anybody else wants to come in, it's there. See where, how far they got to provincials. They have flags up around. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. I, I, yes, I remember seeing the names up there and everything, too. It's yeah. nice for the children to see yes. their names up there, too. Yes, it is. Excellent. They enjoy Excellent. it. Well, I thank you very much. Is there uh, anything thank else? Thank you. No. No? You think you got everything? Um, My goodness, you're so organized. We do um, Bowler of the Month every month from each division. Mm -hmm. uh, we can't win the Bowler of the Month twice, so we do that. And we're hoping to get Bowler of the Year back for a tournament. They're working on it. Pat is. Uh -huh. But he said once he gets organized, we'll know where that is. Comes April, I think it is. Excellent. Excellent. Year end. There's mm -hmm. some recognition for some certain bowlers and everything. Yes. Too, so. yep. That's nice. Nope. That's nice. Well, I uh, think we gathered it all. We did, we got it all? Yes. There's a lot to take in. You're going to have to come back. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Maybe bring a bowler with you the Yes, next time. I can do that. That'd be awesome. Yes. That'd be awesome. So yes. with us again today, Doris Ellis, you are a coach with Youth Bowling Canada of Smith Falls. Thank you very much. 29 years. Thank you, Kathy.